Hello everybody and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley in Farming Simulator 22 where you'll find me still on April the 1st at the same time we were when we finished the last episode um, and I normally like to start in the morning but I got too excited and I've overspent uh, mainly on this greenhouse here and you'll see that we have some olives uh, but unfortunately we don't have much money and we need to do various things like um, if I show you our field our massive field field 20 it's in its first growth stage so we have to sort this out today we have to refertilize and herbicide it today otherwise it might not be in its first growth stage anymore but unfortunately we don't have any money <laughs> so um, this is what we have to sort out now I've noticed that um, there's lots of furniture to sell so I'm going to jump into this very dirty JCB and I'm going to go over to our our field that we just were at and pick up all the furniture and sell it and um, there's just one other job I need to do and then we'll get get round to fertilizing that big field which we have to have to have to do today so here we are uh, at the carpentry and here's the field on our right that we have to fertilize we're going to have to use the JCB because we can put narrow tyres on this. We have a, a New Holland T7 but we can't put narrow tyres on it. So anyway, let's pick up. I'm, I'm hoping there's a lot of furniture here and I'm going to be very lazy and use auto load. And I don't think there's any more than that. So we'll just pick this one up. And where is the best place to sell furniture at the moment? The best place to sell furniture is Grocery Mart, so let's go there. Okay, we just need a little bit of money to hire the John Deere power sprayer. Uh, we don't have enough for it at the moment. Lovely. 17 about 19,000 so um, before I do anything else actually I'm just, I need to fill up the spinnery with wool it's completely empty so I'm just gonna go over to see the sheep I would like to have this field on my right here sometime uh, I think you can make it slightly bigger than it is at the moment okay look at all this wool we need to I, it's a shame I can't just distribute it distribute this wool but it doesn't work like that, does it? So let's see if we can pick it all up with auto load. And let's get down to the spinnery and, and put it in there. Okay, here we are at the spinnery and there's one piece of fabric here, but uh, there won't be any more because the place ran out of wool, which is just terrible. So let's go and throw it all in there. Okay, so we have 9,000, 10,000 litres of wool in the spinnery at the moment, which is fantastic. So I'm going to get over the shop now. I need to pick up the, the John Deere power sprayer. So I'll see you when I'm there. Okay, here we are with the John Deere. So I'm going to get straight over to field 20 where we can start fertilising. Now, I haven't forgotten that I need to put sugar beet in field 13. We have to lime it first and then put sugar beet in it. Um, but I can do that tomorrow. This has to be done today, I think, because we're at our first, I, I think I said before, we're at our first growth stage and uh, we need to, sorry, just doing two things at once. We need to um, f fertilize and herbicide now, right now. Otherwise it might be the second growth stage or whatever. So. Uh, let's do it today um, and then I think we might skip on to tomorrow to do the, the planting the sugar beet etc in the other field but this needs to be done today and the other thing to say is that I had grand ideas of having of buying the oil mill and the sugar refinery on this map but th there are there's neither a sugar refinery nor an oil mill on the map so we have to f we have to put our own down now I'm thinking our grain mill um, our grain mill um, 
we have some space there either side of the grain mill we can put down a sugar refinery and an oil mill but we have to sell our biomass heating plant but that's not a great loss because we don't really use that these days so that's what I'm thinking but we have to save up the money for it anyway so we have to save up 80,000 for our oil mill we'll have to think how to do it but for the moment let's get lined up and let's start spraying this field probably noticed that the the fertilizer the nitrogen rate is we're over target for most of this field but I still had to do the whole field to find the bits that are under target so I've hardly used any fertilizer but uh, it's a bit of a pain that I have to go over, all over the field to find the, the little bits that are under target you can see now in the top left we're over target for nitrogen on, on this bit of the field but uh, I just need to finish it off here and then hopefully wherever we stand on the field it will be perfect for nitrogen let's try it so just turn that off and fold it up and let's just try it let's just stand on a little bit of the field nitrogen should be perfect yeah it should be perfect wherever we stand it says good in places and then I can't do anything else you know we've done nitrogen twice now so I can't do it a second time We've done it twice. Nitrogen good. It's over target here. It says good. It should be, yeah. Well, you know, that's it. That's all the nitrogen I'm doing anyway. So um, now um, it's going to be the same thing again, but we need to put, we need to do herbicide on this field and we need to do it today. So I'm sorry if it's going to be a second um, time lapse with, with this machine, but I have to get this field finished today. Um, so we can work on our sugar beet field and then after that we'll be harvesting canola I suspect so um, right I need to pop back to the to the farm to get some herbicide so I'll see you when I'm back there while I'm back here let's see how the the greenhouse is doing yeah we've got loads of loads and loads of olives the olives these things spawn really quickly actually once you've got the, the greenhouse set up so what have we got here about 12 or something i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah twelve so the only thing now is to buy the olive oil factory um i just want to see actually how much we can get for olives on their own uh, at this time of year olives you can get it's actually nearly the the best time of the year so I think I'm tempted to take them to sell them to make some money we need to make a bit of money um, 1343 at Elm Creek and the best time of the year is May what are we in now April okay all right I might wait till May anyway so let's get on with this Yeah, I don't really want to sell the olives, but it is the best time of year for them and we'll make some money towards the olive oil plant that we need to to buy. And I'm just thinking to myself, if if we can sell the biomass heating plant, we can make a bit of money and then we might be able to afford the oil mill, which is 80,000. Um, I'll have a look at that in a sec. I just want to do this herbicide first, just to finish this field off. Uh, after that, I think I will skip to tomorrow, but uh, I'd like to get this sorted out today and then get the field completely finished 100 percent so let's get lined up and let's start
So I wonder how much we can get for the biomass heating plant if we sold it because we don't really need that anymore. It's, it was selling, we put it down as a selling point for wood but we've got another selling point now at the sawmill so there's no point keeping it and um, it, it's when we can sell because we placed it down so we can sell it. If it was placed on the map uh, by by the, the maker of the map well, then we couldn't sell it but we can sell it. So <laughs> anyway, um, can we go and sell it? Now I think what I might do is go to bed <laughs> because this all this has made me very tired uh, <laughs> and uh, but it's finished off the field um, so that's it's very satisfying actually I, I can't I kind of quite like doing the weeds because it's satisfying to see them all zapped and also it's finished the field this field is completely finished now and we just have to wait for it and I think it's uh, October November we can we can harvest the cotton in here so um, now I think I will keep this John Deere because we might need it for our sugar beet field. So I'm going to drive back to our... I'll go this way actually, just off here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to drive back to our farm and then we'll skip to tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we have a lot of leasing costs at the moment and also we have a big loan and I'm not into even sure how much our loan is. Let's have a look at it. Um, our loan at the moment is 415000 We must do something about that, but I'm too busy buying stuff at the moment to do anything about that. So uh, I think I might use the T7 today and we need to lime our sugar beet field. So I'll do that straight away. And when we go over there, I'm going to see about selling the biomass heating plant. So I'm going to pick up the line spreader and I'll see you over there. So here's our new field 13, looking like a Persian rug. Let's just uh, let's just stand on it. Oh, it's all slurry on here. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's good because yeah, nitrogen is 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 a good level and we just need to finish off the pre preparation of the field by putting the lime on it obviously um so like like i said while i'm here i want to see if we can sell the biomass heating plant and how much we'll get for it because that might go a, a long way towards buying an oil mill because the oil mill is eighty thousand. so i think we have to go to construction and if we want to sell it Oh, we only get 19,000 for it. Oh, come on. Ugh. Well, I'll do it some other time. I mean, we need to sell it anyway because we need to make way for a sugar refinery as well as an oil mill here. And the biomass heating plant is in the way. Uh, but, yeah, I'll think about that. I'll just do this, li this lime spreading and I'll think about that. So I think I will sell the biomass heating plant and then we'll see if we can get up to 80,000. I mean I do need to plant sugar beet today because you have to do it before the end of April so I have to do that today and I'd like to get it in this, today's episode um, but uh, maybe we can try and sell a few things and see if we can get up to 80,000. Uh, I'll just finish this off and then we'll we'll sell the biomass heating plant and, and see what mess it leaves behind on the ground there so uh, okay let's just sort this Let's just finish this off. So, uh, right, let's go to construction again. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, it's just down there. Let's just run down there. Yeah, this looks okay. It's just a big flat bit, isn't it? So I think we could put an oil mill here or a sugar refinery. Uh, we'll do it when we've got the money. So, um, okay, let's go back to... Yeah, let's go back to the farm and then um, I'm going to try and sell a few things to see if we can afford the, the oil mill. Okay, just put that back in there. Um, now, I just want to see actually how much we can get for olives today. Okay, we can get 1303 today and the, the peak is 1350. Do you know what? I think I might take them. It seems a bit bizarre because we need them for the olive, uh, the, the oil mill, but uh, they can make us some good money. So I think I'll take the JCB and we'll, we'll, pick, we'll pick it all up. So I've forgotten that I had left this trailer at the sugar beet field, at the cotton field rather. So uh, I had to go and get it. So I won't pick up all of these actually. I'll just pick up, um, I don't know, just some. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll pick up some tomatoes and stuff and then we'll see how much we can get. So I'll see you when we're, I'll tell you what, I'll see you when we're at the, at the selling point. Oh, so close. So very close. Well, do you know what? I think I might borrow the rest. It's 80,000 and we're nearly there. So uh, what I need to do is go to the shop and get a planter because we need to plant sugar beet. And when, when, we, go to the, when we go to the field, we'll put down an oil mill. Uh, now, if I can find my way to the shop, uh, I'll go and pick up a planter. Anyway, I'll see you when I get it sorted out. I'll see you back at the field. I wonder how many times I've driven past this field and said, oh, I'd really like to have this field one day. It must be like a million times. <laughs> it's really a lot. But now we do own it and we're just about to plant sugar beet in it. But the major thing to do right now is put an, uh, an oil mill down. Now, we've got this space here. I don't actually really know how big an oil mill is. Let's have a look. Okay, it's quite big, but uh, I think it should go here, this way around. So just give me a, a, a minute, and then I'll, I'll, I'll decide on a on a place for it. Just here. <laughs> I can't see our grain mill because it's in the way. <laughs> it's so big. Oh, it's a big thing, isn't it? Oh, this is fantastic. So I did have the foresight to bring some olives with me. They're on the tra on the trailer. Uh, let's just get them loosened up. So uh, I'll just pick one up. Now, where do I put it? Oh, just here, look. Is it going in? Yeah, it's going in. Fantastic. So I think I have to leave things here for today. I've run out of time. So we have got our oil mill and we have got olive oil producing and we still have to plant this uh, this field here but we'll do it next time so thank you so much for joining me today and see you next time bye for now